Uh, this is Don Wood again. Uh, I want to show you some uh, capabilities of Pipe 2000 that are unique and uh, very powerful. Uh, and it will just illustrate a couple of these. There are many of these types of features. Uh, the ones I illustrate will deal primarily with pumps and hydrants. Now as we go through these, I want uh, you to think about how you might do these with other software such as WaterCAD or EPA Net or whatever software you're looking at. Uh, because we do want you to compare these capabilities with the ones we provide. Adding hydrants in Pipe 2000 is a very simple process as illustrated in these next couple slides. Uh, your step one is you select the pipe at the location you want the hydrant to appear. Step two and three illustrated on this slide uh, under the pipe information there's an insert button and that drops down a list and the third step is to just click on hydrant and you can add one hydrant or a thousand hydrants very very quickly uh, using this uh, very quick process now you can add uh, again as many hydrants as you want uh, very quickly uh, you can then analyze the hydrants for the fire flow available to maintain 20 PSI or any uh, level of pressure throughout your system. Uh, but a really key thing here for the Pipe 2000 is that hydrant adds no node or pipe to the model. Uh, adding thousands of hydrants adds no model overhead. Um, in most programs you would have to add a node, a junction node, uh, a lot of programs don't even have a hydrant node. Most don't. But this would add a node and a pipe to your uh, model. And, and in Pipe 2000, that's not the case. These are intermediate nodes which add no overhead. Uh, pipe 2000 also calculates, in addition to the uh, fire flow available to maintain, say, 20 psi, the fire flow that would uh, allow specified pressure at the suction side of the fire pump, which is very significant because uh, uh, this may be a, a significantly less than the 20 PSI fire flow. Uh, you can also include hydrant and hydrant losses. Pipe 2000 has uh, some very good presentation tools. Uh, this slide shows a report uh, on a uh, analysis shows the uh, fire flow available to maintain 20 psi at the hydrant and then anywhere in the system and also the fire flow that will maintain at least a zero psi pressure at the pump suction and also you can generate these plots of, uh, of fire flow data using either test data or the analysis data Now I want to show you uh, some very remarkable Pipe 2000 capabilities for handling pump stations with multiple parallel and series pumps. Uh, we can do this, uh, uh, suppose that we wanted to add a pump station with one to five parallel pumps and run the analysis. Uh, I'll show you how you could do this in uh, probably less than a minute. Uh, this slide shows three steps for putting in a pump station. You just step number one, select the location in a, in a pipe, existing pipe, and number two, you uh, click on insert under the pipe information, and three, you choose a pump. Uh, the next step would be to provide head flow data for the pump, at least three points of head flow data and efficiency data if you're going to do power costs. Uh, the remarkable thing is that we now have a pump station that can run from 1 to 10 parallel or series pumps. And if I want to run an analysis with four parallel pumps, I just select the, from the drop-down list four parallel pumps and do an analysis and get the type of report that you're seeing here, which is the result of four parallel pumps running at this pump station. Well. Uh, you know, hydraulically, uh, how does this work? Of course, we've been doing this for a number of years, and this slide just illustrates the results you get if you built 
a model with three parallel pumps or you build a model with one pump and select three parallel and in both cases the, the total flow is around 4520 GPM so uh, hydraulically you don't lose anything by taking advantage of this very uh, strong capability. Pipe 2000 also has very good capabilities for developing pump system curves and plotting pump curves with parallel or for parallel or series pumps or variable speed pumps. Uh, this slide just illustrates a pump system curve with a pump uh, curve for one to five parallel pumps. And it shows if you've got five parallel pumps, you'll get just around a thousand gallons per minute, which is what you'll get when you run the analysis. Uh, variable speed pumps, uh, the same thing. We handle uh, variable speed pumps, and this shows essentially the uh, pump curves for a with a system curve and a pump running at 10%, 20%, 30%, and 40% over the rated speed. And so with these capabilities, you really have uh, uh, a lot of powerful tools for designing and operating pump stations. I want to illustrate another very powerful Pipe 2000 capability. Uh, suppose in this system that we've looked at earlier, uh, we wanted to run a variable speed pump, pump 1, uh, to maintain at least 60 PSI or maintain 60 PSI at junction J5. Well, we have the capability to do this uh, with a direct calculation as shown on the next slide. Uh, we have constraint data, uh, a constraint meaning that we uh, apply a condition such as 60 PSI and then we calculate a parameter such as the pump speed. And this simple statement sets that up. We just want to maintain a pressure of 60 PSI at node J5. We calculate the pump speed for the pump, pump 1. And when we do this and run the analysis, uh, we see that we get 60 PSI. And we have in our report that the pump is running at 1.215 times rated speed. So uh, there's a many different calculations that you can make using this very powerful Pipe 2000 capability.